Where do you think Scotty Scheffler is coming in this week at Memorial after what the last month in his life has been like? I, I think he's a massive threat whenever he tees it up right now. He is, I, I think he is the most mentally strong player on the PGA Tour right now. If you consider all the distractions that he's had to deal with over the last few months, and one of them is positive in the fact that he and his wife are celebrating the birth of their first child, but of course the arrest in Louisville. Uh, he was close with Grayson Murray, uh, the unfortunate passing of Grayson. As a matter of fact, there was a celebration of life here this morning at Muirfield Village, and Scotty Scheffler spoke at that celebration as well. So there have been a lot of distractions, but on the course, he is very focused and very rigid in his in his ability. And this morning I caught up with Scotty to talk about how mentally tough he is and how he prepares for every tournament that he tees it up in. Yeah, it feels good. You know, I feel rested after last week. I'm excited to be here. You know, I, I like this golf course a lot and it's a fun tournament to compete in. And so I'm uh, definitely excited for the week. You've been on the world stage as a top player for a while now. You get a lot of attention. Uh, there may be some internal and external expectations that you have to deal with. From a perspective of controlling your emotions, how do you do it? Um, it's a good question. <laughs> yeah. I think I try to focus as much as I can on my preparation. And so when I show up on the first tee, you know, I feel like the results aren't really up to me. I just go out there and compete and do the best I can. And, um, you know, I remind myself on the first tee that, that my pep preparation's done. It's time to go compete. And, um, yeah, I think it, I think it all goes back to my preparation. Mm. Have you felt the support and the growth in your popularity out here on tour? Yeah, definitely. I think the, the fan support over the last year has been tremendous. Um, I think as I continue to have success out here, I feel like the crowds have gotten gotten more behind me, and it's it's fun to be able to play in front of the fans. And, you know, I always dreamed of being out here on tour, and so to be able to, to play in front of people out here and kind of, you know, enjoy competition with them is, is really special. And finally, I, one distraction is behind you uh, and the fact that the charges were dropped from Louisville. As you look back on those moments, generally what are the things that you are going to take away which moments like the rest i mean I, I think it was it was a fairly traumatic experience for me and so i'm going to try and put as much of that behind me as possible you know it was just like i said it was a very chaotic situation there's a lot going on and you know somehow i ended up in the back of a police car which i still can't quite figure out how but um yeah it's something that i'll just try to put behind me and you know i'm fortunate that i you know had a great lawyer and um you know the legal system you know i think i think justice was you know justice was there for sure and um yeah the charges were dropped and so um yeah hoping to just put that in the river mirror as quickly as possible and yes the legalities are behind scotty Scheffler, but he admits he is still bothered a bit slightly still traumatized about what happened in louisville and today at his press conference he was asked by a reporter how he feels now when someone is charged with something or arrested. And he said, well, first off, I believe in innocence until proven guilty. But this is kind of the authenticity that Scotty has. He says, I think sometimes in society, people are expecting perfection out of everybody. And just because somebody will make one mistake, people will crucify them for that. And I've never really believed in that. I believe in forgiveness. I believe in grace. And I try to give that out as much as I possibly can because of how much grace I've been given. That shows the kind of person Person he is and and that authenticity is something that is very popular now in the world of golf when it when you talk about Scotty Scheffler yeah Todd and I think we've learned so much about Scotty Scheffler over these past couple of months we know all about his physical gifts he's the best ball striker since Tiger Woods on the off chance that he does miss a green he's a top five scrambler on the PJ tour now that he's linked up with Phil Kenyon he has positive strokes gain putting in each of his last seven starts, but mentally, and we just talked about it, is his ability to stay in the moment, to block out the noise, to be unfazed by distraction or pressure or expectation. Other top players spend their entire careers looking for the magic formula to try and perform their best in these high pressure situations. And Scotty seems to, to be master, uh, to just be a, a master of that. It's really something that I think a lot of Scotty Scheffler's peers idolize and admire about him. And I think these past couple of months exemplify that.